Hello again. Since the glory days of the 80s, harness racing has been in a steady decline in Victoria, battling other codes and lower horse numbers. But harness racing Victoria, owners and drivers are rallying together to breathe new life into the sport. There's no doubt that harness racing across the state has got some challenges ahead of it. The figures show that the number of participants in the sport has declined over recent years, the number of horses being bred and, and making it to the races as well, and, and also the turnover figures with the TABs. Competing codes and fewer horses have taken a toll. It's uh, coming off a fairly low base to try and build up on, but certainly some of the things we've seen so far to try and uh, rebuild the sport in the last 18 months are starting to make some inroads. Harness Racing Victoria acknowledges it's been a rough trot, but injecting new leadership and strategies last year has seen a jump in performance. We can see that uh, increased uh, horse population, we can see the increased uh, race numbers, and we can see the increased revenues coming into the industries. This year, we'll see the Australasian Inter Dominion return to Victoria after a decade gap and a record $40 million prize pool. Rather than see a decrease to prize money, which is where that financial pressure has been on Harness Racing Victoria, we wanted to do the opposite and actually increase the total pool of prize money. And adapting the programming to align with regional horse populations. So instead of running 10 meetings of eight races, you might run eight meetings of 10. Organisers are encouraging a grassroots focus. And there are some inroads being made in the calendar to enhance the opportunities for people who might be the hobbyist in the sport, who just like to have a horse go around, might not have a horse around, but it goes around for the thrill of it. Anna Curran, Win News.